Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you screen retouching from the very start to the very end in just 10 minutes. So, spare 10 minutes, and you understand screen retouching from the very start to the very end. So, in this tutorial, we are going to be learning about frequency separation. Frequency separation is a screen retouching technique that is going to help us refine the textures alone and also the colors. So, for this image, you're just simply going to divide the image into two layers. By pressing Ctrl J twice to create two layers right here. So simply come right here and simply name this to low frequency. And you're going to name this to the upper layer to high frequency. So just going to name this to high frequency like, like that. And after doing this, remember in the low frequency line we have the colors. In the high frequency line we have the texture. So just come to the low frequency line and select it and hide the high frequency layer so select the low frequency layer hide the high frequency layer by clicking on the eye icon right here and you're going to come right here to filter blur and come to gaussian blur right here so this is mo the most important step when it comes to frequency separation so at this point you have to determine the amount of textures that you want to remain with in the final retouched image and this is the most important step when it comes to frequency separation so you have to take up the radius slider so by left clicking and dragging this and releasing you can see effect is affecting the image in real time so we have to stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear from this image so drag as you're looking at the image and the overall image in this case after looking for a reference point where the textures are just evident within the image so you're just going to take this up up the point when the prominent textures are just starting to disappear from the image so you always have to stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear don't take it all the way until you can you cannot notice where the textures were so you have to stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear from the image and click ok so after doing that you can notice that we have a 16-bit image right here and if at all your yours has eight you also have to ensure that you know the bit depth of the image and in order to know that simply come right here to image mode and you can set mine is on 16 bit so after ensuring that you know the bit depth of the image simply come to the high frequency layer and select it and now activate the high frequency layer then come image and come to apply image right here so remember the bit depth i showed you previously select the source which is the name of the image and select the low frequency layer right here layer is low frequency layer the channel has to be rgb and the blending mode if at all you're working with a 16-bit image like i'm working with a 16-bit image in this tutorial you're just going to come and select add the scale has to be 2 and offset 0 or pass at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check and simply come and turn on the invert option and you see the textures on this gray layer then if at all you are working with an 8-bit image with the previous settings that we had simply don't turn on the invert option and change the blend mode to subtract the scale has to be 2 and offset 128 make sure the opacity is 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check and make sure that you have your textures on the gray layer right here but mine is a 16 bit image i'll simply come and change it to add and invert this and simply click ok so after doing that simply come and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light and this blend mode is going to remove the gray color from the image so we are going to put these two in a group by selecting both and pressing Ctrl or Command and pressing Ctrl G or Command G after selecting both layers. So you can double click to name that to frequency separation just like that. And after doing that simply open up the group for frequency separation and select the low frequency layer. So when you select the low frequency layer, remember we want to refine the colors or we want to get a uniform skin color for the model and blend the skin tone transitions and also refine the textures which are part of the high frequency layer so we're just going to come and hide the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer and come under the brushes right click and get the mixer brush tool and in order to set up the mixer brush tool, the settings for every tool that you select within photoshop are always going to be displayed on top here so simply come and make sure the hardness is zero and soft round brush is selected and also make sure clean brush is selected and make sure the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke has also been selected right here the weight is nine percent 
load 75 mix 90 flow 100 percent so these are my settings so depending on what you want to work with you can try around different settings but these are the ones i would recommend because i've always tried and tested these so after ensuring that you have set up the meter batch tool make sure sample all layers is not turned on so make sure this option is not turned on and with the mixer brush tool really selected simply increase on the size by using the bracket keys if at all you want to reduce on the size you can use the open and close brackets on, on the keyboard and if at all the mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon right here you can simply press the caps lock key in order to refine the text the colors within the image simply reduce on the size and make sure it is in between the area that you want to work on so how to apply the mr brush tool we left click and hold down so you left click and hold down and drag the mixer brush tool so the right way of the movements of the strokes of the mixer brush tool you have to ensure that it is in all the size is between the area that you're trying to work on so you can say this area has this kind of dark color so mix that color alone so you have to keep on clicking mix and release so you left click mix release if at all you are working on the same color keep on doing that left click and mix and you have to take the strokes of the missile brush tool in the direction or the shape of how a given area is shaped so that you can maintain the originality of the model's face or how light was falling on the model's face in the first place so you left click and mix and where these colors are mixed are mixing or transitioning from one color to another reduce on the size of the mr brush tool and blend that color to create a nice and even transition within the skin tones in that area and as you're working on this image you can notice that it tends to look plastic the reason for it looking plastic is because we have hidden the textures from the image by turning off the texture layer in the frequency separation group that we created so and I think when you're working on the image, always retouch at a distance because you don't want or basically what we want, we want to see the uneven skin tone transitions within the image at a distance because when you zoom all the way in, you won't be able to see the uneven skin tone transition. So we are basically mixing colors to create a nice harmony and blending them together and creating this nice transition. So we are going to come and turn on the texture layer and you can so when you turn the, this on and off you can see we have retained the original skin textures within the image but we have as well blended the skin tone transition so just come and hide this and keep on working so I'll just forward this and i'll see you later on in this tutorial And now welcome back and now you can see that we have retouched the image so i've just turned on the texture layer and this is the before and after before and after for just the skin retouching using the mr brush tool so after using the mr brush tool we just want to refine the areas that we may have missed out when we are retouching the image using the mr brush tool so in order to retouch or fine tune the areas that we may have accidentally missed out while we are mixing the skin tones using the mr brush tool you have to simply come right here to our lasso tool and make sure it is in new selection mode the feathering has to do to be 22 pixels and make sure anti alias has been selected right here so i'm simply going to come and draw like that so you left click and move around the lasso tool so you have to select only the skin and keep eye from the edges or even the hair and after doing that simply come back to filter and you're going to come back to blur and you're going to come back to gush and blur remember we are still selected on the low frequency layer so it is going to load the previous radius that we had for our frequency separation which is seven so in order to get a perfect skin texture just simply drag this up up to a point when you are having a nice skin texture for your image but if at all you're not sure simply multiply the radius that you had for your frequency separation by three so seven by three is 21 i'll just type in two one and you can see that we have a nice skin texture which looks natural and i'll simply click ok so we are going to apply the same radius on the rest of the image so just come 
and simply to deselect click away from the selection to deselect and draw just like that so you have to draw the shapes the way the area is shaped right click and come to gaussian blur if at all it is too much right click on the selection and simply come to fade gaussian blur and re reduce on the opacity or the effect of the gaussian blur radius or effect so just going to come and apply it on every area so this select like i told you click out from the previous selection and it's going to automatically deselect that given selection so right click and come to gaussian blur and we are going to do the same for every area that has skin on the first area so just like that it is going to be perfect in the areas that we may have accidentally missed out when we are using the mr brush tool right click and come to gaussian blur right there and come to the nose area so in comes to the nose area select the dark areas of the nose alone right click and come to gaussian blur and also come and select or apply the effect on this uh, dark side of the nose but you can see the way i'm drawing the shapes that still following and maintaining the original shape of the nose so when you're done applying it on the face area you can see the before and the after for this so after doing the skin retouching remember what you have to do is removing the blemishes or skin imperfections so how to remove blemishes just going to zoom into the nose area and i show you how to remove pimples or blemishes from the image so in order to remove a blemish for example this select on the texture layer which is the high frequency layer right here and simply come and get the clone stamp tool make sure the hardness is set all the way to zero and soft round brush has been selected right here opacity in the flat 100 percent align the selected and make sure the sample is currently because we are working with with the information in the high frequency layer reduce on the size and make sure that the size of the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the blemish that you want to remove or the pimple that you want to remove from the image and after ensuring that if at all the clone stamp tool is showing a plus icon like this simply press the caps lock key on the keyboard so after doing that simply to remove a blemish you hold down the option key if at all you're using mac then for windows it is alternate so you hold it down and left click on an area close to the blemish so alternate and left click over the area that is clean and near the blemish and after doing that release the alternate key or you have to re release the option key on the keyboard and simply left click over the blemish to eliminate it so hoping i've been clear so let's just remove this simple skin imperfections or blemishes from the model skin and i think uh, this looks okay so i'll simply zoom out and i show you what we have as a as a before and after for the skin retouching of this model so this is the image before after before after so this is how you can easily retouch in just 10 minutes and understand frequency separation in just 10 minutes and if i told you i've learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching. i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating